So we've looked at how gov governments spend, how they make their money. In this video, I wanna discuss a really important topic that comes up often, and a lot of people make mistakes around it, and that's the discussion of deficits versus debt. Deficits occur when the government spending exceeds the revenue for a during a specific time period. When the government spends more than it generates, we say that it has a deficit. So if the government during this year spends more than it brings in, we would say that the government has a deficit for this year. And then next year, we start a whole new schedule. The accumulation of deficits leads to debt. On the other hand, a surplus means that your outlays or spending is less than your revenue during a specific time period. Surpluses can be used to accumulate savings for the government, or if there's outstanding debt, a surplus can be used to pay off that debt. It is a common mistake to confuse deficits for debt and vice versa. Deficit is a measure based on time, whereas debt is a measure of accumulation or a stock. So we call one of them a stock and the other one is a flow. Here's a graph of the federal deficit from 1990 to 2019. Each year plotted in black indicates that the government ran a deficit that year. The amount of spending exceeded revenue. The exception to that are the blue bars, which indicate a surplus. This is the only time since 1990 that the government ran a surplus. We also see that the deficit were highest around the Great Recession. Uh, it started decrease up to 2016 when deficits start to increase again. 2019, especially 2020, will have high deficits. Therefore, we should expect that our government debt has continuously increased. So let's look at a graph of government debt. This is a graph of the total national debt from 1990 to 2019. What we see is a massive increase in our debt rates after the financial crisis of 2008. And if we extend this to 2019, 2020, we'll see another skyrocketing debt uh, because at this point, the government is spending more than the tax revenue because it's spending more on unemployment insurance, spending more to support people during this recession and people are not working, therefore there's no tax revenue to generate. That happens often uh, during recessions where the government goes into debt. It accumulates a deficit and then goes into debt. And the idea is that we should be paying off our debt during expansions. Um, unemployment insurance falls, tax revenue increase, and um, we accumulate a, hopefully a surplus and pay off the debt. One thing that I like to do is to talk to people about the, instead of looking at total debt numbers, let's look at debt to GDP ratio because that takes government size and economy into consideration. So here's an example of GDP for the US since 1990. In 1990, the debt to GDP ratio was 52%. It marginally increased till the financial crisis. In 2010, the debt to GDP ratio was 79%. And in the first quarter of 2020, it increased to 122%, meaning that we owe more than what we actually make in the US in one year. So that's a quick look at how the federal government spends, generate revenues, the difference between a deficit and a debt, and um, how these numbers look in recent history. Next, we will look at the role of government in stabilizing the economy, or better known as fiscal policy. If you have questions about the federal government's budget, uh, reach out, make sure to work through all the problems, and I will see you in the chapter on fiscal policy.